What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back on your screens once again here with Soundhead Entertainment as the sun has set on the 2022 NASCAR season and it left me feeling so utterly limp I had to take a few days to recover. But now I'm back and on a wreck fest Thursday, no less, because when we crowned our champions in Phoenix, it made me wonder where would I crown a champion in a wreck fest? Where would I take the field of legends to decide once and for all who is the best of the best or let's be honest, the worst? And that led me here to one of wreck Fest's classic tracks, Dirt Devil Stadium, where we're going to battle in this championship winning Logano car to see how we stack up against the field of this year's title contenders. And away we go to wrap up, essentially, 2022 as a season. But uh, it's not like we're going anywhere. We're going to be here all off season, causing all kinds of ruckus, as we always do. And I almost had a lane on the outside to rip until Kurt Busch ended both of our careers. Kurt, I like it, but I'm getting to know you a little too good right now. Let me try that again without getting the door slammed on me and then I almost do immediately. And Ross Chastain going right by me for the championship and then I get landed on by Redick. We have done two races. I have been mounted two times. This is not okay. And then I get turned by time. But Jeske right into Zane Smith. All right, and I landed on his head. So at least I'm dealing a little bit of it. And there's a wreck and a half. Okay, game. I scraped the wall. All right. Fantastic. Absolutely fabulous. I, uh, we're going to land on the wheels at least if I get the chance to. Thanks for that one, Cole. Appreciate it. Oh, chick kicks. And, and there it is. There's my Kodak moment. And in what better place than turn one? I want to see a replay of these race starts. This is right out of turn one, which is only a little chaotic. Only a little memed up. We have this crossover section which just it crosses up the minds of all the AI and they can't do it. I would have been able to get through there with a less hard landing if I hadn't drove underneath Zane Smith to get the spot. And it didn't even work out too well for anybody really in the end. And then this, I, I will admit, I shouldn't be rubbing up against the wall out of the corner. I shouldn't have made such a hilariously large arc. But that shouldn't cause me to slide on my head into turn one and then get just absolutely run over by everybody behind me, including Brad Keselowski in a Chick Hicks car, but he was hardly the one who did me in. The four car just totally finishes me off. And at least I got some back on him too. And I got packed. Yeah, everybody team up, a great plan. Oh yeah, here we go. Three wide, three deep into the most ridiculous section on the track. And then I just get turned. Tremendous. What a wonderful day at the races. And what would I have done without that pack job, Ben Rhodes? Thank you very much. I'm sure Denny would be very proud. I don't think the other lane is even an option at this point. It's just a long jam down there. We did it though, right over top of it. Right over all the buffoons. That was legendary. He's wall riding again. I'm in the wrong lane too. We got to switch over here. That was close. I do not trust going below deck down there right now. Hey, Eric Jones just NBA over top of me. And it's going to end well for nobody. And we've all lost it. I'm going in the pit. Over in the pit we go. And this is a no reset challenge. So we got to get out of here the hard way. Come on, this can be done. We may have lost the championship, but we can at least prove we have the heart of a champion. There we go. And Christopher Bell is going to finish in front of me. So we have lost. I don't know what this is. We just had like nine cars come together and try to join forces like a Power Ranger or Transformer or something, but it didn't really work out. It just ended in a big one like it always does. And then I get packed like I always do. Great times I'm having. If you switch lanes like this in real life, we gotta have a chat, but in Wreckfest, we had to make that work. And if only it would have worked, if Eric Jones had dunked on top of me in the middle of my sweet move, that would have worked and it wouldn't have ended in two demises right there, but it did. Archer Corners, guys, where you going? That's just, that was bumper cars. They're aiming for the side berm though. Like there's no winning with what they're trying to do. There's winning for us though. We we're in the top five. Just like that, and Bubba Walls is dead. There we go. All right, I've been Larson. Me, <laughs> absolutely grand. He just Vegas to me. Keep to your wacko selves down there. I see you all thinking about it, Bell. Keep it down there. There we go. I got PTSD coming back through here too, and I think I see Bubba up here in the Brad car. If I get to him, he's gonna have an interesting rest of his day. I can promise you that. Hey, which way you spinning, dude? Okay, I was gonna try to switch lanes. We just met in the middle instead. I've become a monster jam obstacle now. Everybody's just going right over top of me. This is kind of cool, actually. Can my get in gear, please? Let's go. We got to make some time up here. We just got to go straight on over the pile up and almost on top of the Intimidator, but it's only Chandler Smith, and I'm going down in the Rancor pit. We're just going to power right out of this thing. I know we can do it. Oh, with the greatest of ease. We're not even going to lose any time off that. Hello there, Eric. 
I know I don't usually believe in Michigander on Michigander violence, but you wrecked me earlier and now, and, and Bubba wrecks me and he will succeed. He will prosper for it. That is how NASCAR works now. As far as this one goes here, there's really no way to explain this. Scientists will be studying this for years. I don't know what Zane Smith was trying to do there, but I know I was trying to avoid him and I did some huge airtime too here. If we had an airtime competition, I'd be winning it. Nobody is soaring it as good as I am yet, and I'm sorting right down into the pit where I belong after almost running over Dale. But then we get right back out of it like champs. Nobody ever did just don't lift. Oh, don't accordion either, Avi. Come on now. Ty, we can do this. Oh, it's attack of the ties now. I am upside down in a bad spot. This is not where I want to be turned around like this. And, and there we go. I've been beached, I guarantee it. No reset wins again. Excuse me. Pardon me. Let me squeeze through here, Cindy, please. Come, Cindric. Damn you, dude. Damn you all to hell. You steal my guy's car, and then you run me up the damn wall, and then I run into Joey Logano in Joey Logano's car. How do you think that makes him feel? Yes, let's get stuck in the highest traffic area possible. This is a brilliant plan. There goes that sign. That's brilliant advertising. It was. Don't play with me, Kurt. I think I owe you a little something-sum -some anyway from earlier. I'll shove you right up the damn track. I'll throw you right in the retirement home. How many times are we going to teach you this lesson, old man? Get out of here. I'm going sore. There's someone going end over end over here. It's me. I'm the maniac, and I'm getting punched in the face by Josh Perry on an absolute drive-by right there. Okay, dude. Steal my spot and assault me. That's just not acceptable. Are we stacking up up here or what? We got someone sideways, and, it, and there we go. I think Tyler Reddick and I just simultaneously got disposed of. We did. Oh, Ross, cut me off. Okay, guys, just come on over, I guess. No signals in Wreckfest, that's for sure. Oh, Brad, Brad, don't do this to me, Brad. Right through the sign. Oh, I'm about to get smoked again. Come on, anybody else? Someone, you might as well finish me off. Come on. It's almost more cruel to make me live and have to catch. Oh, and then I drop the elbow from the top rope on Ty Gibbs. Uh, I don't even know what lane to really be in right there. Tire check. That leads me into a horrific tire check. Those ones don't move, unfortunately. That's a bit of a disappointment right there. I'm putting myself in danger, and there we go. That did spectacular, and I land right back on a set of tires for it fitting in. Listen, the Daytona 500 is coming up sooner than we think. Fox Sports wishes it could capture anything even remotely close to this right here. This is... Forget about it. Indianapolis, anybody, you're done. Then we have to talk about this as we drop the elbow right on top of Ty Gibbs. I'm trying to take it easy on the guy. Wreckfest says nope. Then we get a little tire check that leads to us tire checking our face off down here on the immovable object. I guess that makes us the unstoppable force, but that's not true because while I'm trying to turn the damn thing around, I get knocked on my face and bang on top of some tires. We can do it, I believe. Just give me a lane here. <laughs> Bubba? Bubba? He got me again. I cannot believe it. Bubba has struck me down for the second time this video. This is unbelievable. When I get to that six car, we're going to have a little problem. I'm going to do to him what I just did to the one car for no reason at all. Sorry about that one, Kyle. We all know there's no laws in Wreckfest. There's, there's no cause and effect. It's all just a desire for destruction. And me trying to get to the six car is ending in my destruction. And there we go. Up and over we go. Thank you, guys. You just want to go ahead and carry me all the way the rest of the way. That'd be great. We're gonna have a way through here. Chandler Smith ski. Oh, we got no, it's a roadblock. It's a roadblock with cars inside of cars. This is some kind of weird Russian roadblock. I don't know what we got going on here, but we gotta get out of here. That's what I know. we gonna flip this thing around. Chase Elliott, you lead the way, buddy. I don't know if that's it, but we're gonna try this one out and dig right in face first. That's a nice face meet steering wheel moment right there. Let me flip this thing around again. 20 minutes later. And that, uh, that's gonna just write me off right there. Yeah, it's too bad that last hit didn't really finish me off. We're gonna take 10th home instead. You have fun with that. Yeah, we're all gonna crash down there. It's collapsing on each other. Down there, not up here on me. Come on now. Come on, man. Let me get around without killing me, please. Oh my God, they actually did it. They let me live for once. We're going straight on. We need the spots. We're not following Brad. We're making our own trail and it's working until I fall in right down into the pit. Hold on, we can save this. We can pull this back. Consider it saved. I'm just sending it. I don't trust any lanes. There's crap everywhere. We just sneak by the wreck. That gets us in the top 10. We got to get going fast. I hit a little too much of the ramp, and I just took out Ty Gibbs again. Damn it. And we lose. At least I get what I deserve this time. Harvick wins. He'll have something to be happy about. Eric Jones just said, all right, I'm going to head out. I wish I could do that. 
Oh, I was, he's right there. Just let me get to him. Just like, yes, yes, take that. He kind of did that to himself, but I will count that as Kyle Busch lands on my dome. We got Final Four violence over here. Oh, Kyle Busch, if only you could have actually, oh my head. Ross Chastain from out of nowhere with the belly flop from above. I don't know what other option we have other than to just keep trying the outside lane and hoping that it'll work. Even if we have to dump happy hard for a second, though, probably our best start yet. This could work. I can almost taste it. We just got to send it. We got to send it. Don't give me a bad bounce here. And it's going to, it's going to barrel roll me. Why? Because the game hates me. That's why. Please don't get stuck. We're still in this. Ty Gibbs should have tried to take me out. Kyle Busch is too, but we're still in this. I promise. We might be slightly less in this. We may no longer be in this. I just got reset and I didn't even hit the button. That wall's not real. I think that defeats the purpose of this challenge. So I now have to eliminate myself and I thought that would have done it and it didn't even do it. You're gonna make me take one head on on the end of this wall here. I'll do it. Don't put it past me. See, I'm an honorable son of a bitch right here. I will do what needs to be done. Kyle probably owes me a couple at this point too. And it's not gonna work out for him. We're gonna get rid of him again. The two car going nose over first. That was awesome. Oh yeah, pick a lane as late as possible. See how that works out for you right underneath one of our championship competitors. Look at this duo we got to defeat to get the dub here. Here we go. There goes Bubba. We're going by Chase, the person we passed his car a minute ago. That's the perfect way to hopefully secure a dub on the last lap. Gonna let that thing hang out one last time. We got about three seconds back to the bozos that we just beat because we've captured the cup. It only took me a ton of tries no resets no problem now we're on to the replays to see how we got it done so we can wrap things up here today and it was an ugly start but we got through it clean we were able to take advantage of some of our competitors getting out of shape over the jumps and this ended up being a pile and a half while we were on battling for the lead these guys just kept stacking on up it's a Napa Auto Parts Nightmare. All their cars wrecked right there. We have another Napa car coming soon. Guess what it is below as Briscoe goes flying off the map. Then back at the battle for the lead, we have a look down the inside of turn one. The AI brains just get scrambled every time they see turn one. We were able to take advantage. So out of the final corner, that's going to do it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do with that like button. Subscribe for more. Hit me in the comments below what you want to see next. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.